Hi guys, welcome back. I just wanted to show my collection of um, Kurushitsuji manga. So it's Black Butler. I watched the anime on Netflix and I purchased the manga from a good friend. Their channel is Gemini Animations and they do amazing K-pop animations and speed paints and they're just an amazing talented human being. You should go check out their channel. Uh, we are friends in real life and I really miss them and I hope that when this is all over and it's safe to go back out again that we can see each other and I just want to say thank you so much for the manga again. I'm really happy with it. I purchased a good chunk of it. I'm gonna try to show you just a little bit of the collection. I don't quite remember. I don't know how to read Roman numerals so yeah I don't quite know how many are here but I'm gonna try to show you a little bit. So this is just one half. <laughs> there's, there's quite a lot here. This is the other half so I have quite a lot of them and I try to keep them in order and even the spines look beautiful. Just look at it. I had used one of the mangoes for one of my props when I was taking pictures of my makeup to put inside the video and this was the manga I used. So I just want to give another thanks to Gemini Animations for this manga. I'm so grateful that I was able to purchase it from them. And yeah, please, I can't say this enough, but go check out their channel and support them in any way you can. They are just an amazing person and I can't speak about it enough. So thank you very much and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So I wanted to do kind of like a sweet look and as you can see I've got my contacts in. I've already put my primer on, eyeshadow primer as well as face primer. If you hear me breathing really heavily I have asthma. I'm also wearing Spanx for this costume so I have a hard time to breathe. I'm going to be using my BB cream. It's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue so I'm just going to be applying it all over my face. So next I'll be going in with my concealer. It's the CoverGirl Clean Matte Concealer in the shade Fair. So I'm just going to apply it under my eyes, my spots, any red spots that I see, and I'm going to be covering my eyebrows as well. Yeah, if you hear crying, it's just my baby cousin. <laughs> She's so poor, it's close to her bedtime, so she gets a little bit tired. So now, I want to move to eyeshadow. And I'm going to start with this color right here. I don't know if you can see that. But it's the Ipsy and NYX palette. So now, I think I'm going to go in with this color right here, I'm just going to add it to the crease. And I'm going to be using the new eyeshadow palette I just got. 
I showed it off in a previous video. It's the Take Me Back to Brazil from BH Cosmetics. So I don't know if you can see, but this color. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to eyeliner. So now I'm using the M Cosmetic Black Liquid Eyeliner. Alright, so now while the eyeliner is drying, I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. And I'm using this, um, I believe it's called Anasui, and it's this cute little gothic palette. And um, it's kind of weird looking, but yeah, I'm going to use this grey color. <laughs> it's kind of dirty. It's I kind of dropped it a few times. So I'm just going to go in with a angled brush. This is just a simple paintbrush from Michaels that I purchased. And now I'm just going to be using it on my eyebrows. I find this color goes really nice with the wig. Also, I think I'm going to add some highlighter. I think I'll add this to my brow bone. Yeah, I like how this color looks better. It's a lot more shiny. So I like how that looks, so I'm just going to add a little bit to the center. So I think the eyeliner is dry, so now I'm just going to curl my lashes and add mascara. I'm using the Hypoallergenic Mascara, it's the Maybelline Great Lash. So this is another M Cosmetics product. It's the Serum Blush in Pink Nectar. So now I'm going to move on to the lipstick. So for this one, I always like to use the City Color City Chic lipstick. Here is what it looks like with the contacts. So I made this cosplay by myself. Other elements such as the gloves, the hat, the choker, and the front bow here all are, are all from a previous Seal Phantom Puff cosplay. I purchased it on AliExpress a couple years back and unfortunately the cosplay no longer fits me and now it's lost forever. So I decided to just make my own. If you like this type of content, please subscribe for more. I'll be adding more cosplay and Halloween videos. I just bought a sewing machine as well, so I'm going to be working on some awesome DIYs. So yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!